If you're only passingly familiar with the world of Bungie's Destiny franchise, it may come to you as a surprise that in the winters of 2015 and 2016, Destiny was partially a racing game. Bungie's most popular titles have always included a bit of vehicular action, and even included the option for players to create their own racing modes in Halo Reach, but Destiny was the first time Bungie created and curated their own racing mode with a new activity they called the Sparrow Racing League. In late 2014, Bungie's Eric Osborne revealed to GameSpot that the prospect of a racing mode had been passed around internally at the studio. It's definitely an idea that has come up at the studio, and there are dozens and dozens of cool ideas. Part of the process of sustaining Destiny is figuring out what's the most bang for the buck, what's the right feedback to go after and address, how do we deliver the experiences that players want. It would be a while longer until such efforts were brought to fruition, as Sparrow Racing was formally announced by Adam Boyce from the main stage at Sony's PlayStation Experience in 2015. The official Sparrow Racing League launched within Destiny on December 8, 2015 for a limited three-week run. The timed nature of the event was deliberate, designed to focus test the game mode amongst the player base, since nothing like it had ever really been included in Destiny to that point. Jerry Hook, former team lead for Bungie's live team, said that, We want to hear feedback from our players. We want to hear feedback from the community, what works and what doesn't work, and then we'll figure out how to bring it back if the community wants us to. Hook also noted that Sparrow Racing came from the community, but also the passion we have on our own team. So when you see both at a high passion moment, you're like, yeah, that's going to go near the top of the list. We're going to go make that happen. I was regrettably not a Destiny player during the first run of the Sparrow Racing League. My experience with the SRL would come later during the Rise of Iron expansion in the fall and winter of 2016, but I do remember seeing Sparrow Racing content pop up on a few of the gaming-related YouTube channels I watched back then and thinking it certainly looked very fun. Oh! oh wow, that was amazing! <laughs> oh, Whoa, hello Whoa. everybody! And early reviews of the new game mode were mostly good, but often harped on the fact that there were only two courses upon which to compete. Business Insider called the Sparrow Racing League a blast, but unfortunately repetitive, and a novel diversion for both newcomers and longtime players. Other outlets had similar comments, but voiced additional concerns about how certain cosmetic elements from the League were locked behind Eververse, Destiny's microtransaction storefront, a common complaint in the modern iteration of Destiny 2 if you take even a cursory glance at any of the myriad Destiny-themed subreddits. But players seemed by and large to enjoy the new game mode. Uh, Jerry Hook, in a 2016 interview with Wired, said that according to their internal tracking, Sparrow Racing especially appealed to players who didn't usually participate in other, more traditional PvP activities, even bringing a number of lapsed players back into the game. And so it came as no surprise that SRL was back in 2016, once again for a limited time, but this time with two new maps, bringing the total map count to four. And this was when I was first properly introduced to Sparrow Racing. If I've not mentioned it here before, I love racing games, and one of my all-time favorites was Star Wars Racer Revenge for the PS2, and Sparrow Racing League perfectly scratched that pod racing itch. I plowed my way through the SRL record book, playing those four tracks over and over to check off every possible achievement. Sparrow Racing was awesome. And from talking with other players around that time, it certainly seemed like most of the community agreed with me in that feeling. In that same Wired interview I mentioned earlier, Jerry Hook was asked what it would take to get Sparrow Racing included as a permanent fixture, and Hook said it was entirely dependent on player feedback. If there's this huge outcry to make it permanent, we'll definitely look at that. Right now, we just love how it feels, a key moment that is very exciting for players during our winter holidays. And so Sparrow Racing once again came and went, leaving players to return to their guns and strikes, knowing that next December, December 2017, Destiny as we know it would be gone, and Destiny 2 would have arrived. Bungie had made no announcements yet regarding recurring seasonal content like Sparrow Racing's associated dawning event, so the future of Sparrow Racing was uncertain, though many folks like myself assumed, perhaps naively, that it would return every winter. 
But then came the final weeks of 2017, and there we were, in a new tower, in a new game, with no way to race our sparrows apart from our own haphazard routes through patrol zones. And this has been the paradigm ever since, though every year brings without fail rumors of the return of sparrow racing, either from data mined character dialogue, upscaled images of seasonal key art, or whatever other means folks use to gather, quote, evidence of sparrow racing's triumphant return. And while I would love to believe these rumors, every time I hear them, every year that passes makes it more and more difficult to muster that kind of enthusiasm. Official news about the fate of Sparrow Racing have been all but non-existent, and the only real updates we have about it have come from community members. According to community members and streamers who attended a recent Bungie community summit, the devs at Bungie claimed that Sparrow Racing League would not be returning anytime soon, or ever, citing low player participation and the costs of developing the Sparrow Racing League, which were purportedly comparable to several new strikes and Crucible maps combined. But we can always hope that one day Bungie might bring back the Sparrow Racing League. Hey everybody, this is uh, Jake Terrio with Subpixel. Um, Will says I can't come back to the studio unless you like and subscribe. And if you leave a comment, he even says he'll give me a warm uh, blanket. So uh, please do that and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next video.